Hi there. So I'm just looking at some of these social media posts that I've been posting over the last two or three days and reading through them. So just a short post here, and I actually wrote this last night. So this evening, I took some bedding from under the bed and popped it on the bed as I was tidying up and my gold Mr. T coin fell out of my white sheet and just rolled and landed in front of me. It literally appeared from nowhere. I felt this was a sign that Mr. T's energy is back in the spotlight. Something is going on. Something has been going on behind the scenes that will shortly start to unravel. So I'm not really sure what this is that's coming. And, and it's, it's interesting that I've been, I haven't been blocked from seeing anything to do with Mr. T. It's not a block, but it's more of a veil. Um, and the nine have said that when a psychic or clairvoyant sees a potential that puts that out into the field for the dark magicians to access. So it's important for the psychics, the clairvoyants to sometimes not see so that it isn't held in the field because once it has an awareness with just one human being, especially if that human being is activated with light themselves. So psychics have to be careful um, about what they look at and what they see. But if they're guided, if they're guided well by um, a higher collective consciousness, they will step in and assist you with the navigation. So they allow you to, you know, move through the um, antimatter realms, if you will, yourself. But when you need assistance, they come in. So you work mediumistically and you work psychically. So the psychic is the horizontal pathway and the mediumistic is the vertical pathway. So the other way of, of, of speaking about this in a more geometric way is you're using your energy field in a vertical way or you're using your energy field in a horizontal way. And some people are really good at the vertical, but they haven't activated the horizontal. So what they'll get is they're psychic they won't get any channeling or any higher guidance with it. And some people have activated the vertical and not the horizontal. So they're a pure channel, but they don't have any psychic ability themselves. Everything comes from the higher source. There's nothing wrong with either of those things because they're, the, they're just the way that that person has developed. It's like you're a good dancer, but you're not very good at speaking, or you might be a really good public speaker, but you can't dance to save your life. It's the same thing. The idea is to fully actualize with all of these different geometries and all of these different um, talents and abilities that the human has, which is where we're going in our future. So um, I have been uh, guided via the, the vertical aspect, the nine, um, with the horizontal viewpoint, the psychic ability. And so there are things that I, I have been shielded from, things that have been veiled, and I don't um, push the energy when I see that. So basically, if the nine are saying to me, we um, advise or, or we're not sh showing you this, or you can't see this at, the, at, at this point because of this reason, I don't push that. I, I respect that, I respect those boundaries. I understand why I can't, because I don't want to um, harm or change something that's going on. But I've known that something's been going on behind the scenes and there will come a time when Mr. T's energy steps back into the visible field, as in the world stage, if you will. Um, Obviously, he did step up yesterday and um, talked about uh, suing um, some uh, internet companies. Uh, but I feel that it's tied up with that, but more than that, there's, there's more yet to come. And I don't know what those things are, but I see that they're there. So it's like the veil doesn't give you a block, as in you see nothing. You see things, but you can't see what they are. You can't interpret what they are. It's like, well, that's going on behind the scenes. That's happening. And you can sort of get a rough idea of the shadow outline, if you will, but it doesn't come into your space as a clairvoyant um, until you are 
supposed to or are, are ready to or are being guided to see it. Um, so this particular Mr. T coin, I've got a gold one and a silver one. And I didn't realize that the gold one was missing. Um, I thought they were both, I've, I mean, I've got my little silver one set up as an altar with crystals and Mr. T's book. And I do my own magical work with that, which is my own independent personal magical work for what I wish to see occur or, or wish to assist uh, the collective in, in doing um, with the nine. So it's all, you know, personal magical work. But I thought my silver coin was somewhere safe and I was just tidying up. And I have this beautiful white bamboo sheet, which is um, because it's bamboo, it's cool. So in the hot evenings here in the um, UK, I, I just, you know, you sleep with this thin bamboo sheet and it's so cooling and lovely. But if it gets cold, it also can then be warm. The bamboo is the most amazing um, uh, substance to actually create um, bedding from and it's just really lovely and I saw that it was on the floor so I picked it up and folded it and the little silver Mr T coin just fell out and rolled towards me and just sort of landed in front of me and I just went okay so it's because it was such a physical act it's like the little silver Mr T coin had a life of its own rolling I mean I didn't know it was on the floor I, I didn't know it was anywhere near the, the, the sheet that I'd pulled out from under the bed. I don't remember having the silver coin on the bed. I don't remember having it on, on any of the bedding. I mean, I, I may possibly have taken it from my little box that I keep it in and popped it in my handbag because sometimes I take it out with me. <laughs> so I could have done that. I don't know, but it was just so weird how I took this from the floor and it just literally rolled out and just landed in front of me like it was saying to me here I am I'm back and I took note of that because many things can happen in our physical reality and we have to learn the difference between that's just a thing and it doesn't have a meaning to it and that is a thing that does have meaning to it you learn to uh, differentiate between action within the physical world and it often ties in with other things that are occurring or your own thoughts or your own emotions so I knew and I just knew instantly that this was a synchronistic sign that Mr T's energy is back in the spotlight something is going on something has been going on behind the scenes that will shortly start to unravel what I don't know but I did post this and I've had um, lots and lots of comments um which I haven't read all of them yet uh, on Telegram. And I posted this up on my other social media as well. So we will see how that plays out. Um, I am standing by everything I've ever said before. And I do feel that I'm, I'm being asked this a lot. I do feel that Mr. T will come back to a top banana position. Now I'm not saying that it's going to be the traditional top banana it could be a new type of top banana position. Everything is changing within the banana structure, if you know what I mean. Um, so the top banana position may not be the same position that it was because this, the whole thing is changing. It isn't going to be how it was. It's going to be different. But that energy, that Mr. T energy, is it, it never left that place. That's the thing. Mr. T's energy retreated into you know, beyond the veil into the shadow, but it never left the top banana position. It wasn't a case of you're out, you're gone, and this one is in. It's never been that. It's been, okay, you move back now, you step behind, you move out of sight, but still in the position energetically. So I'm speaking here energetically, but what is there energetically always manifests physically it must because the physical is the dense um the dense uh, manifestation the the dense result the, the 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 final um physical thing that is a complete mirror to the energy so if mr t is has top banana energy and always has that that has to play out but you can't second guess the form 
Top banana means CEO of a company, presidential position, leadership, the one at the top, the one making um, decisions, rules for others. It is a leadership position, but you can't second guess what that will look like in the physical. Now, if you're looking in a political field, you would think that that would be a presidential position, or if you're in another country, a prime minister position. But that political field is changing in and of itself. And so one doesn't know yet what the, the, the top position will be called or even look like. But yes, the energy's there. So it's now stepping out that it, that Mr. T energy is coming out from behind that, that veil and, and, and stepping up again um, in some form. And as you know, the nine have spoken to me about um, social media and media and entertainment and that being a field that is utilized as a template um, spearheaded by Mr. T um, as a top banana position of that and how the people as the patriotic ones stand into that. Um, so that's yet to flourish. Um, but there's other things too, and it's big and I can't see what it is. And when I say big, it's global. This is the thing, the, the, the Mr. T energy is global. Top banana of earth, not just of the US. Earth's top banana, and it's the Mr. T energy. Yes, it's there. So does that even mean Mr. T as a person? Well, I think so, but even that is not something you can second guess when you look at how that's going to physically play out. We could be looking at um, another person that holds Mr. T energy, but that's conjecture at the moment because as far as I'm concerned, the energy is with Mr. T as a person at this point. So we see we will see how that plays out. But uh, yes, we had this sort of silver coin. Um, no, I've got that wrong. It was my gold coin. It was my gold coin. Yeah, it was my gold coin that rolled out and the silver coin is the one that's in my little altar. It was the gold coin, um, which is the sun. The gold is the solar, the gold is the masculine, and the gold is the um, that top banana position cosmically and galactically. Don't misunderstand me and say and think that I am saying that Mr. T himself is a galactic master or a galactic savior or a god. Um, you know, so many people misinterpret what I'm saying. They they. they they listen to what I'm saying, but they don't seem to be, they only take on board what they want to hear. And still now I have people saying, Magenta, can't we stop with the savior thing? And you know, I've got to say it again. We've ne I've never been on the savior thing. The people in my groups, they're not on the savior thing. It's never ever been a savior. It's never been the God, Christ, Jesus. Um, he's the one that's gonna save the world while we all sit back and cheer. Never, ever, ever has it been that way. Never have I ever presented it that way, ever in any capacity. It's been misunderstanding of words such as king. King is the sun, the solar, the golden energy, the top banana frequency. It's all the same thing, the true royal one. The nine speak in energetic terminology. I interpret their energetic communication into words that are most in alignment with the frequency they present. And it's not 3D language, it's not 3D terminology, it's language of light, light language, flame letter terminology. So unless you are interpreting it multidimensionally, you're going to get a 3D interpretation that is subjective. And a subjective interpretation is simply your own interpretation and not what is being said by the nine or by me as their interpreter. So hope that's made sense. And I think that's quite exciting. Um, and I feel as a collective, uh, we should be keeping an eye on this 
energy and see how it goes. So the golden energy, Mr. T. Back in the spotlight. We shall see how that manifests. Thank you for listening and I will see you again soon. Bye.